Hello, good people of the internet. I go by the name of Johnny Massacre and this is a live stream. I'm doing this because I have a new webcam and I wanted to test it out. I've been having a lot of problems trying to work out streaming. Believe me, it is one of the most frustrating things possible. I'm kind of tech savvy, but to stream properly, you have to be very fucking nerdy. I got the fastest MacBook Pro in the world and still it basically can't handle a lot of streaming purely because most of the streaming applications are designed for use with PCs and Windows. So I'm currently streaming using software known as OBS and the Mac version is not very good. So of course my Mac built-in MacBook Pro webcam is kind of shit. So I've been using my GoPro to stream. However, if you use a GoPro, the Mac and the software can't process all the data quickly enough. So there's an audio delay and the frame rate gets all fucked up. I bought this thing which allows you to hook up an external camera not designed for streaming such as a GoPro and it's pretty expensive uh, but even with that there's a delay so then I bought an external capture card so the capture card can handle the processing to free up the, the MacBook Pro CPU and that works but that means then I can't stream other things that could use a capture card like video games and so on. So in the end instead of buying another capture card I just bought this webcam and it seems to look pretty good, the timing's pretty good. Uh, pretty much everything I've said, probably most people don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because they don't stream, but anyways, if the audio's in sync and this looks good, then I'm pretty happy. Apparently this is supposed to be able to go in 60 frames a second. This doesn't look like 60 frames, but I guess it might be actually. I hope it is. And apparently it can do 4K as well, but on this software, there wasn't an option for 4K. But me in 4K, I kind of like the sound of that. Higher resolution, Johnny. I mean, fuck, man. Who wouldn't want some of that? <laughs> so, here I am streaming with no fucking plan just to see if it works. From Tokyo in my studio. And, yeah. I'm hoping to get a few people. Oh, someone's watching one person. That's probably me on my iPhone watching myself streamception so hoping someone comes in and we can have a chit chat oh man my studio is a bit of a mess but it's all good so i guess i better keep talking about something because this stream is going to be archived so what can i talk about that's kind of interesting uh maybe movies because some people who subscribe to my channel know that i review movies so Solo, the new Star Wars spin-off movie. I'm sure you've probably already seen it, or maybe not, because I heard it didn't get the best reviews, but that's not out in Japan where I live. So the reason I'm saying this is because a lot of people subscribe to my channel because of my Star Wars rant about The Last Jedi, because I hated it, and I hate the way Star Wars is going nowadays. And so I think some people were expecting me to review the new Solo movie. I have not reviewed it yet because it's not out in Japan. Movies come out late in Japan, most of them. Some of them come out at the same time as other countries, but generally movies come out late in Japan. Why? Why? I looked at other Asian countries. China releases movies on time. Korea releases movies on time. Japan's like the third biggest economy in the fucking world. Are you telling me these cunts cannot translate some fucking English into Japanese? I reckon what it is, having lived out here for about eight years, Japanese people are perfectionists. That's why their food is so good. And so they have a light side and a dark side. It's kind of a glass half full, glass half empty situation. Living out here, because Japanese people are so thorough, all the trains run in on time, all the food is well prepared, even cheaper food is well made. They're religiously thorough about everything that they do. But on the downside, that means it takes longer for things to get done sometimes. The bureaucracy, the red tape takes years to be pushed through. But when they do it, believe me, it's hardcore. And also, I guess, as far as movie translation goes, I can just imagine all these Japanese people sitting there going, oh my God, I have to get the translation perfect. It really is not easy to translate Japanese. My Japanese sucks, but I can tell you, as someone who used to work in copywriting, that when someone actually explains to me exactly what some Japanese means, and then I have to, in English, of course, and then I have to sex it up and make it sound better for a brand, that is the the meaning is completely lost in translation for so many reasons the flow of the language the phonetics the alliteration the assonance it's just not there when you translate it into english 
And the way they express themselves through their words is so fucking different. Small words can mean very long things and long sentences can mean very short things in complete contrast to the English. And so by the time the Japanese has gone through the filter when it's translated into English, you've lost so much. I can understand it's hard to translate. But you're professionals. These are big budget Hollywood movies. These should be translated on time so I can fucking review them, so I can hit whore. Because I don't want to clickbait. I don't want to do that clickbait shit. This channel's all about being real, right? And so I'm not going to fucking just make some shitty video to get to get hits. I'm going to do something because I like it and that's movie reviews. So I'm sitting here fucking with my dick in my hand waiting for the fucking Star Wars Han Solo spin-off to come out while already people have reviewed it and like harvested all the hits and I'm going to get fuck all. But fuck it. I'm waiting to review it. It's going to come out real soon. I'll review it and I'm going to do it live now because I'm testing this and it does seem like the sound syncs up so I can confidently do a live stream 60 frames a second not worry about it. My reviews anyways were all ad-libbed so I might as well do it live. Puts a bit more pressure on it and I, I find when I do a live review it keeps me in check a little bit because you know there's a bit more pressure to get it right so uh, there's still only one person watching which is myself so this is pretty fucking funky. I guess I'm gonna have to send out a tweet to my horde of about 500 followers so then I can get some people to fucking watch this stream. So let me go on my phone it's called Ask Me Anything. Cool, that's pretty simple. The picture is a bit weird, so it's not going to attract many people, but fuck it. I'm sure someone will come in. Some of my loyal fans. So share. Here we go. God, do I have to go on Twitter? Twitter, fucking liberal left wing site. Fucking hell. Oh, Ben Shapiro's on there. Ask me anything. Okay. Right, so World Cup. Fuck, the World Cup's got to be on now. Why am I doing a live stream? This is not a clever thing to do, is it? Ah, uh, who's playing? Who's fucking playing? Who's in the World Cup today? Anyone watching the World Cup out there? I watched a little bit. I don't know. I, I've got really bad ADD, so I can't pay attention to football for too long, even though I'm a big Arsenal fan, as you can see from that. You might be able to see from that. See, the weird thing is, like, look at this side of the screen. It's coming in. It's bleeding into this side of the screen. Look. That's so weird. Look. What the fuck's that all about? Anyways. So, World Cup. Let's see who is... Uh... Oh, someone's watching. Ooh, we got, a, we got a viewer. Hello, viewer. Who is there? Show yourself. Oh, so World Cup hasn't started yet. It's Denmark versus Australia is coming up in about an hour. And then at midnight, France versus Peru. France, pretty good team. They've got a lot of good players. I might check that out. 3 a.m. in Japan, Argentina, Croatia. That should be pretty good. Messi missed a penalty in his first game. And Argentina drew. Whereas his, his nemesis, Ronaldo, is, is tearing it up at the World Cup, scoring loads of goals. Messi has to have a good game, I think. Ronaldo, I hate Ronaldo, but apparently he scored more goals in international football than any other player in the history of football, which is just fucking mental. He scored with a header the other day. Uh, the, oh. Just go to Tinder, show us matches, and self-promote to them. Are you saying that I might attract people through Tinder? What does that mean? I don't understand. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. Go to Tinder. I understand that. Show us matches. So then I'm going to match with people. I'm going to match with people. Okay, okay. That's a pretty good idea. I think my girlfriend will go fucking mad though because she's a little bit of the jealous kind. Um, should I be on Tinder if I have a girlfriend? Probably not. Fun fact, says the game hates you. Australian internet is so shit we cannot actually watch the World Cup live. The <laughs> what the fuck, man? What happens? Do you know what? I think someone said that before. What the fuck is up with Australian internet? Please, can you elaborate? I wish you lot could see how fucking awesome the setup I have is that's in front of me. Should I, should I pull my webcam around? That sounds a bit dodgy. Hey, baby, do you mind if I pull my webcam around to show you what I can see? 
I should do a poll. Should I throw away this fucking thing? I think I should, shouldn't I? This is so shit for streaming. It all looks like this side looks good, but then this is like half of it is this big. I'm gonna throw this shit away. I've got so much to fucking do. I'm loving this webcam, man. This is a real fuck. Fuck the GoPro. Fuck that shit. Seriously. Who wants a GoPro? Not me. My girlfriend's on my, on my case now. Um, she basically works at night. So I basically wake up at 5 a.m. And that's when she goes to bed. So I basically don't see her. It's crazy. But uh, I shouldn't give her too hard a time, man. So, yeah, she's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. Mino, if you're watching, I love you. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm a good boy. Da, da, da. My Logitech camera is here and it looks beautiful. I love you, Logitech. It's called Logicool in Japan because of copyright issues. So I thought, what? Is this some Chinese knockoff? Although they're both... They're, it's the same thing. Okay, two people watching. Is two going to become three? Come on, man. I need to make a career of this. You guys have got to start logging on, tuning in, supporting. If you want more of me, come on, there's only one of me. I'll give you the movie reviews. I'll give you some music and shit. We do live chats. We can talk about anything. I'm outside the box. I'm disconnected from society. So if you want a third person kind of sideways view opinion, get at me, people. Get at me. What else is there to talk about? Well, I bought an audio interface. It cost $5,000. It's one of those things that you convince yourself you need, but when it arrives, you're like, uh, why the fuck did I buy this? I mean, just a regular audio interface in this, can you tell the difference with the sound? The thing is, I've been planning to make a recording studio, a proper one, for so many fucking years, and I'm basically doing it now, so I bit the bullet, and if people are gonna pay to use my recording studio, it has to be state-of-the-art facility, right? So, I bought the best sound card in the world. And it is known as the Apogee Symphony Mark II. It's sitting right there and I can't use it because the studio configuration I've got is so fucking complicated, you would not believe it. I've got, I got a question. I've got a comment from The Game Hates You. Australia's internet infrastructure is shit. We're pretty much running in the 90s. So that means you've got dial-up speed, right? You've got... Um, 56.6 kbps modem that when you turn it on makes a very strange digital distorted sound right getting nostalgic so back to the sound card so this this uh how is my setup gonna work well god it's hard to explain i basically bought this thing it's the weirdest thing ever it's sitting underneath this webcam it's called a shadow hills Equinox or Equinox. It is an analog summing device. What does that mean? Okay, let me explain. So I bought this hardware box and in the back there are four connectors on a pin known as D sub. D sub is like a long, thin, oblong shaped uh, connector and it's a, it's a male connector. So it has these prongs and you get a female connector and you connect it and then out of this snake cable breaks out uh, eight outputs, eight audio outputs. And actually, in this case, it's inputs, eight inputs. So I've got four sets of eight inputs. That's 32 audio inputs going into the back of this hardware box. So what happens is, out of my audio interface, which costs $5,000, fucking I have, I have four cables with 32 outputs. And when I finish a song, there's many, many audio channels, probably more than 32. So I group together the drums, the instruments, the vocals, and I'm basically going to get 32 separate channels, and I'm going to route them out of the audio interface into this hardware device called an Equinox. And what that does is, when you're in the computer, it's just two channels, stereo left and right. This means fuck you in English, by the way, to my American friends, so that's why I do the piece. So. It's just stereo left and right when you're coming out of your computer. However, if I separate the audio into 32 individual analog real outputs where the, the sound, the, the digital 
data that represents the sound is actually converted into electric signals and it goes into a hardware device. I'm going to get 32 separate real living breathing electronic hardware channels and that gives you a degree of separation between all the sounds and then you feed that out of the summing left and right stereo output and then I can just record it back into the computer and that means I'm going to get this wonderful separation in the sound and to do that traditionally you have to use a an analog hardware mixing desk you know when you see in a recording studio a professional recording studio they have these huge mixing desks that take up the entire studio that's essentially what this hardware device called the Equinox does so instead of having a huge mixing desk which costs I don't know ninety thousand dollars plus and takes up the space of a whole room you have this one very heavy duty built like a tank analog hardware box and you can feed all the channels into that so you of course don't get the same level of control with all the individual faders but the point is you get the sound and the other thing this this uh, this device does is it has two microphone preamps and they're of the highest quality they replicate some of the best analog vintage preamps on the market so some you know it's like everyone has their own particular taste um, but these analog preamps are some of the best in the business they're highly respected they have various different uh, hot switchable modes there's three modes iron nickel, nickel and steel which which emulate different classic microphone preamp textures the other thing this analog hardware device is it has it's a speaker switcher so if I go I can switch between various speakers in my studio and it's just a fucking jack of all trades professional high fidelity pristine piece of audio hardware and you can't even see it I hope I've described it well enough so that's why I bought this five thousand dollar sound card so you buy the sound card for five thousand dollars you buy this analog summing device for seven thousand dollars and then you have to connect them so that's gonna cost another two thousand dollars the cost of the cables the four cables you need coming out cost about hundred and fifty dollars each and you need fucking eight of them because you cannot go straight into the analog summing device you have to go out of the sound card and into a patch bay and then out of the patch bay and into the device and that means when it's in the patch bay you can patch in the signal to different parts of your studio much like a telephone signal with those old school operators you probably have no idea what I'm talking about now but the whole thing costs a silly amount of money so to get up and running just with the basics of a, of a studio costs an arm and a fucking leg mate and that's all I have to say about that going back to the game hates you. My only buddy right now. Now the dial-up noise is gone, but the fastest service ISPs will give the average Australian 10 megabytes per second. Fucking hell, up to 50 Mbps down, but the infrastructure is so shit, we're limited to about three. Are you fucking serious? How do people survive? Dude, that's going to hold back your civilization. We're in the information era. Seriously. And that's why I can't understand why internet isn't free for everyone because if cities just took a tax and then gave people internet all the time fucking everywhere, that city would explode. The economy would just go mad. People could be buying shit from absolutely anywhere and making transactions. It's like, uh, I think in the Meiji era in Japan, I think that was around the Industrial Revolution, the emperor at the time um, expedited the economy and evolution of the country just by embracing the industrial revolution and foreign technology and the country from there became ridiculously prosperous and in the same way if countries embraced the internet and just hooked everyone up to the internet 24 7 that country would lead the world but people are so greedy it's all privatized they try to lock it off and exploit it fuck the world we're all slaves There's not much of a delay in the stream, by the way. I'm just cooking meals for the week. Fantastic, mate. You do your thing. Let's, uh, let's provide each other with a little bit of companionship while you cook and I just stream in my room. So there is a little delay, is there? That's not cool. But uh, that's something we can iron out, as long as it's not too long. Because when I used the GoPro, it was so fucking long and it would just change. So I, I'd get the delay just right and then halfway through the stream, it would change again and it's like, fuck, fuck that. Fuck the GoPro. Our government collects chromosomes for a living, hence why we have no clue what they're doing and probably eat paste for a living. Wow, Australia, you're making it sound very attractive. My girlfriend's so excited about meeting me. I haven't met her for weeks because she can't get out of bed, basically. So, I mean, what can I do? What can I fucking do? What can a man do when his girl won't get out of bed? I just don't know, man. 
Uh, I might go for a run today. I might do some exercise. I um, I bet I exercise six days a week, but I might do seven this week because, you know, my diet is very particular, and I tried to be clever and did a thirty-six hour fast, but it fucked me up, man. I've done it before and it was pretty good, but without going into details, if you do a thirty-six hour fast, I broke the fast and I ate a shitload to compensate, and I usually calorie count, but I didn't because I was fasting for so long, and then the next morning I ate my normal calorie amount which was within 10 hours. I usually wait 24 hours. So that was kind of a no-no. And then, you know, I ate today and I went a little bit over the limit and then I ate a grapefruit. So I broke my fast. And now I was thinking about getting more food and I can't work out why that is. It seems like overeating will make you, it's not a one-off thing. If you overeat, the stomach expands and your body gets all this extra nutrients and it and then suddenly the whole dynamic is changing and it wants more 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 it's insatiable so you know once you get your diet on point and you're not overeating i would beware ever having a cheat day because it seems it will just throw you the fuck off balance so i might have to do exercise today to compensate and not have a day off this week and i might i'm not going to eat until tomorrow evening that's for sure um i'm mm, yeah, I'm going to have to work it out somehow. There's always a delay for streaming coding. It happens. But you can compensate for that. You can you can delay the video so it, it lines up with the audio. So I might have to do that. It just depends how bad, how delayed it is. Yeah, well, am I talking about addiction? I guess so. It feels like a craving. and I. But then... Okay, so I used to eat in this local yakitori shop and it's just pure roasted meat and it's the most delicious food ever. It's like $100 a meal. I used to eat there every night. I used to just blow all my money there. And whenever I did that after heavy exercise, it fucked me up. I'd have more cravings for food, but I always thought it was because it was a low carb. And if I did that kind of exercise, my body wanted carbs. But I ate it the other day and I haven't eaten there for months now. And afterwards, I, I loaded with carbs. I had like two apples, a yogurt, blueberries and honey. But then the next day I wanted more. So I guess it is an addiction thing. But it also feels like my body's screaming for nutrients. It's hard to see between the addiction and the necessary. It sounds like an excuse, but audio is fine. Encoding is post-processing. Right, right, right. Yeah, so I should delay the video a little bit. I'll check it out um, later when I finish the video. But um, yeah, Tinder. Should I go on Tinder and get people to come on live? Probably should. It's probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. I mean, yeah. Probably a good idea. Right, it's fucking, it's getting a little bit. Oh, there's all this fucking plastic on my back from my fucking old chair. I need a new fucking chair, man. I get this plastic all over my room. Right, so what else have we got around here on the fucking desk? Well, looks like there's a little pouch for the fucking webcam. I might. Do people even use these fucking things? That this also came with the webcam. I don't. I don't know what this this thing is. You're used to processing sugar, which is what most protein and carbs break down into. Right, right. So, it's probably an addiction thing. You know, I was going to go to the shop today and then just buy more food and say fuck it, but I knew that's a rocky road just back to putting on weight. So, I had a grapefruit. I broke down and had a grapefruit. That's exactly the kind of, of uh, relapse I want to have as opposed to just binge eating on some shit. But you've got to be careful, man, that's for sure. You've got to be careful. So, I wonder what this little piece is for the webcam. Oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh shit, there's a little fucking stand. Oh, this, I know, okay, this is to cover the camera so people can't hack your camera and catch you masturbating and then blackmail you. For money to stop it being released online so I would hang that over like 
this. Well, that makes me happy. That's a good company to include that. That's very thoughtful. Really clever. Oh. Okay, so apparently there's a stand. But those cunts did not include it, I believe. Which is quite cunty. So you're going to give me this, but you're not going to give me a fucking stand. So number one, yeah, hook it up. Number two, okay, done that already, but it was too high. So when I, when I did number two, I was like, shit, this doesn't look good. But then I put the webcam down. It's got this really good stand. The same clip that attaches it to your monitor can kind of fold around and become its own stand. But then there's another special stand, like a little tripod, which is not included in the package. Look at number fucking, well, it's not even numbered, but look at the one in the bottom left. Where is that? Logitech. Logical. I broke down. <laughs> oh, you made me laugh. That's funny. I broke down and ate a grapefruit. Sounds like a first world problem. <laughs> That's a great one, mate. You made my day. Go on. Wow. Louis Ro Rossman did it. Louis Rossman did a video on why covering the lens is kind of useless if you cannot mute the microphone. Hey, man. Fuck. What would you rather? Uh, have the sound of porn going out and no one can see your face or have you on there having a wank. Jesus, mate, it's better than, it's better than nothing. But yeah, yeah, no, that's the point. The fucking mics, everyone's monitoring everything these days. Need to stop that shit. So where, where's my stand? There's no fucking stand in here. I'm well pissed off about that. I really wanted that. You cheap fuckers, man. Look, it looks like a crappy little thing. You couldn't put that in the box. Of course they fucking don't, because they want to make a little bit more money, don't they? That's the, that's the plan, right? They don't give it to you, and then they sell it. They sell it back. I thought it was in there. Then they sell it back to you. Fucking wankers. But you know what? I don't need your fucking stand, mate. Actually, I've already got... GoPro stand, so maybe that's gonna work. I hope. Anyways, well, I might as well. I might as well have a look at the stand. Logitech stand for Brio. They could have put that in the box. Come on, Logitech. 4K Ultra HD and Red Light 3. Tripod mount. Fuck it. Yeah. Tuh. Logitech, you are you are wankers for not putting that stand in the box. I want my stand. I don't need your fucking stand. But I'll take one. Desktop webcam tripod mount. It's, uh, it's not expensive, so. I don't need that shit anyways. It's fine where it is. I got a nice position here. So it's all good. It is all good. It is all good. So. Cool, people contacting me. They wanna have a beer. I don't drink beer, but let's let's hang out. Bum, 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 la, la, la. More comments, liking this. Oh, this message is held for review. I've self-promoted on Tinder, by the way. It's funny how many girls think you're some big shot when you're really a fucking nerd. <laughs> Story of my life. Yeah, I should get on Tinder then. <laughs> 